subscribe and hit the bell icon for more notifications friends welcome back to best way to study in this video you're going to see complete exam analysis and paper review for tcs nqt 2021 today is the first day of exam so now let's see what is the paper pattern and from which uh, topics most of the questions were asked all these things we're going to see in this particular video and after this i'm also going to answer few of your questions like the students who have attempted TCS NQT 2021 were asking me a few questions. Even those questions, selected questions I'm going to answer in this particular video. So watch this video till the end. Okay, so first of all, coming to the exam pattern from verbal ability, 24 questions were asked and the duration of the exam is 30 minutes. Okay, and coming to reasoning ability, 30 questions were asked and coming to the duration of reasoning ability 30 questions should be answered in 50 minutes 5 0 minutes okay and coming to the numerical ability 26 questions were asked and 26 questions should be solved within 40 minutes so okay. coming to the programming logic section in this particular section all the questions all the uh, mcq kind of questions were asked uh, re uh, related to the programming languages and 10 questions were asked and for this uh, for this 10 questions you have 15 minutes 1 5 minutes to solve okay so coming to the coding there are two coding problems like there two or uh, two coding problems were asked in today's exam for first question for first question the duration is 15 minutes, 1-5 minutes. Next question, the duration is 30 minutes. Okay, so totally for two programs, 45 minutes is the given overall duration. Okay, now let's see from which topics most of the questions were asked. And after this, let's see what is the TCS NQT 2021 cutoff. Okay, coming to the verbal ability, questions were asked from reading comprehension. Students told reading comprehension is bit at moderate level it's not so easy and it's not so hard it's at the moderate level the questions which were asked related to the grammar okay if you are really good at the grammar and if you are really good with the vocabulary you can really do well in this particular verbal ability section okay and next questions were also asked from the sentence correction like there was a sentence given and you need to improve the sentence you need to identify the errors so all these sort of questions were asked in today's exam and also questions were asked from para jumbles and close test okay and coming to the reasoning ability questions were asked from blood relations and uh, data arrangements data interpretation coming to the numerical ability questions were asked from permutation and combination probability time speed ratios functions profit and loss and few miscellaneous kind of questions okay so from these topics most of the questions were covered so now let's see from which topics questions from programming logic has been appeared okay so mostly students told uh, questions were asked from operations looping and control statements which were very important basic concept based questions like if you are really good with the basics and the concepts you can answer those questions okay and also students should be really good with algorithms and the basic concepts of object oriented programming as well as uh, threading data structures linked list tag queues etc and uh, coming to coding two coding questions were asked first coding question is very very easy and the duration for the first program is 15 minutes and second program is a bit difficult level uh, for which 30 minutes duration is given so now let's so now let's see what will be the cutoff for section wise okay so coming to the verbal ability out of 24 questions if you have attempted at least 18 or 18 plus questions correctly it is a good attempt to the reasoning ability out of 30 questions if you've attempted at least 22 or 22 plus questions correctly it's a good attempt coming to the numerical ability 
out of 26 questions if you have attempted at least 19 or 20 plus questions correctly it's a good attempt going to the programming logic out of 10 questions if you have attempted at least five to six questions correctly it's a good attempt let's see what is the exam analysis and what is the difficulty level of the paper coming to today's paper the paper is at the level of moderate to difficult few students told the paper was moderate and only few students told the paper was difficult coming to the english section the paper or uh, the questions from this particular section is a bit tricky to coming to the english section the paper difficulty level is at the level of moderate so coming to the quantitative aptitude most of the questions were being asked from probability percentages mensurations and numbers and even and even the level of quantitative aptitude is bit moderate coming to the reasoning ability questions were direct and students are able to answer most of the questions so reasoning is at the level of easy to moderate so overall today's paper is in the is between the level of moderate to difficult coming to the programming section questions were covered from c plus plus c as well as java so students need to concentrate on these three specially and students were telling they need to have really good time management in order to crack this exam because the questions were time taking and also tricky so it's really it's really important to maintain your time at a correct pace and so now let's see what are the questions asked by the students let's see few questions which are asked by the students who have given today's exam and also who are going to attempt this exam in the near future okay so one of the question is there is so much problem with the system what to do okay so especially the students who are going to attempt this exam in the near future first make sure your system is working fine first make sure your system is working fine because if it's not your fault and system shutdowns uh, suddenly that's that's absolutely fine because it's not your fault if uh, the system itself had a problem and shutdown it's not it's not at all a problem just uh, ask your invigilator and uh, they'll help you out and next question is exam server not working okay yeah i have heard this most of the students were getting this issue in on their system like uh, there is a problem with the exam servers new students were not able to give this exam so the, and uh, the other instruction is they are allowing your pen and other stationery but the thing is your pen should be a transparent pen be transparent and the uh, all these things should be uh, visible for outside also. I am continuously trying to access my exam but still I am not able to launch my exam assessment page. No issues if it is not your mistake so surely they are going to accept it and they are going to try their level best to launch your exam so don't worry. Yeah, I heard most of the students were facing problem with the website because of because, because there is lot of site traffic. Uh, students are not able to launch their assessment page no i have started the exam after one hour because of the server issue and i have only few more hours left for my exam what should i do don't worry see uh, they'll surely take care of when should we reach the exam center okay at least make sure worst case make sure at least you reach there before 45 minutes okay pen and paper is allowed or not uh, pen is allowed as i already told you the transparent pens are allowed into the exam hall after every two to three questions exam is getting dis disconnected after that i am continuously trying I know like most of the students are facing same issue like they are unable to launch the exam page they are getting their system disconnected or they are uh, facing other kind of site issues so let's, let's see what happens what about our exam few people are telling that our exam is getting postponed yes guys uh, see listen listen carefully until unless you get official mail from tcs 
don't believe any other third party source if you if if there is anything if there is any change uh, or if there is any postponement of exam if there is any postponement of exam surely you are going to get mail until unless you get the mail don't believe any third party information okay guys here there are some hundreds of questions i won't be able to answer all the questions because most of the questions are repeating okay so yeah that's it for today hope you found this video useful don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon so that you will never miss a video from this to to study and also don't forget to like and share this video with all your friends thanks for watching and all the very best for your exam